John Bennett with Logic Pro X, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to, you, you can use your Mac-generated voices that you can generate on your Mac um, in your remix. And I originally started remixing this um, Little John song, and you'll let me play it for you so you can get the idea. It kind of gave me the idea. I've already kind of chopped it the way I want it. This this is by no means a done remix. I'm just started playing with it. Crank it! Crank it! Ah! So what we have here, if you heard that little haters part, that's a computer generated voice that's actually in a remix. So what I've got going on here, I've got the remix of You Don't Like Me, um, and I've got the acapella of You Don't Like Me. I've already lined them up with a grid. I pulled out the pieces I want. I chopped out curse words here, which I'm going to replace with computer generated voices. So how do you do this? Uh, I think there's several ways you can actually record your system audio into Logic Pro, but I just um, decided to use Hijack, Audio Hijack Pro, and I think there's some other other things you can do. Now, when you get Audio Hijack Pro, you have to add system audio as a source here. So you go plus, and you select a source, your input, your input would be system audio. I'm going to delete that one because I already have system audio selected. So essentially what this is going to do is record anything, any audio that plays through your computer. Now I wanted to use the Siri voice from my iPhone and it just so happens that if you go to system preferences, dictation and speech, you get all these voices in here. Um, there's only a couple by default, but if you go to customize, Samantha is the voice you want for the Siri Siri sound. So I'm gonna you click that, you hit OK, it'll download. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Samantha. I've got my keyboard shortcut as option escape here. So let's open a text edit document. New document. Logic Pro X.net. So now I've got Logic Pro X.net and I want her to say this. Logic Pro X.net. You can change the speed of it here. You can add commas if you want her to pause kind of in between things. Select it all, option escape. Logic Pro X dot net. Okay, pretty cool. So what you would want to do is just simply start recording. It'll capture this audio into an MP3 file that you can drag into your, into your project. So let me kind of show you what I've done so far with this remix. Now for VIP members, I will be making uh, portions of this project where you can download it and play with it. So it's kind of a lot of fun to do this. So I just wanted to do something with Siri and this remix. So here we are. Again, it's not done, but you get the idea. This is going to be a problem. Crank it! Crank it! Ah! Damn it! Crank it! I don't like haters. So I've got these voiceovers. I actually did these uh, in the car, so they sound really, really bad. I'm going to mute these guys right now. I did them in the car on my earbud microphone, so that's why I'm muting them. I'm embarrassed to play them right now. I'm going to re-record them later. But I also took um, the team name, which is Diamond and Core, and I put it. I had Siri say those, and I ran some plugins on those, so you can hear that. You'll see them right here. So if I solo that, diamond, 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 core, 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 core. Sounds pretty sick in the mix, though. And I mean, you know, this is a long way from being done, but it's gonna be hot. 
So plugins I've got on there, Ensemble, I use a lot. I'm gonna go into these plugin presets. I'll even make the presets available for download for the VIP members. So hope you enjoyed that. That's how you can pull in uh, audio voices from your Mac right into your remix. We'll see you in the next video.